everything else first. From my point of view, the forensic evidence we have, things like the, the fibres on the scissors, the DNA on the scissors, the fibres on Stephen's clothing, is entirely consistent with suicide. But the evidence collected was to come under greater scrutiny at the inquest. There's more than one interpretation to be put to those factual findings quite often, and that's really what happened when it got to the inquest. Um, it was clear that there were different interpretations that you could put to the same facts. During the hearing, new information emerged, showing that Stephen wasn't the only person with access to the scissors found in the boot of his car. I'd known at the time um, that I was carrying out the examinations that Stephen's car was open, although the boot was locked. What emerged at the inquest was that the keys for the car were actually in the ignition. So I would accept the proposition that, in theory, it was possible that a person could have gone into the boot of that car and could have planted some evidence. The scissors, for example, could have been used by someone else to cut the straps if they were wearing gloves and then replaced back in Stephen's car. Whoever cut the straps on Stephen's parachute would have created a cloud of fibres that would have settled on the parachute and on their clothing. The fibre evidence has always been controversial. And I recognised that in, in us removing the parachute when Stephen's body was found, that certainly would have contaminated some of his clothing with fibres. As the evidence was collected, fibres would have been spread over Stephen's jumpsuit. We found a lot of fibres on the outside, as we'd expected. But then on the inside of the jumpsuit and on the clothing underneath, we actually found slightly more fibres, which, to my mind, indicates that Stephen had had quite close contact with the parachute pack after the straps had been cut and the fibres on his clothing could have got there by him handling the parachutes for some sort of pre-flight check. At the inquest it was revealed that Stephen had checked his parachute before he put on his jumpsuit. Having reviewed the forensic evidence, the details of Stephen's life, his state of mind and the circumstances of his death the coroner gave his conclusion. Today a coroner recorded an open verdict. Is this a mystery that will ever be solved? It's quite clear what was done to the parachute, but it hasn't, it hasn't answered the question of, of when it was done or who did it um, and for what reason. Do I think he killed himself? No but he's dead and somebody did it. It's very difficult to live with not having an answer. And I don't know how I'd feel if we knew what had happened or who was responsible. It must remain a possibility that somebody knows what happened or more about what happened. It's not absolutely the end of the matter and obviously we must hope that something does come to light but it may well remain a mystery forever.